Mistaken other dog breeds as the American Pit Bull Terrier has led to a lot of euthanizations for American Pit Bull Terriers. And they also been put in a lot of shelters just because other dogs been labeled the Pit Bull. Today I'm going to give you dog breeds that often get mistaken as the Pit Bull. So keep watching. Now a lot of people mistake their dogs as the American Pit Bull Terriers. And this is bad because... You can feed into the stereotypes that have bad reputations that are surrounding the American Pit Bull Terriers along with many other bull breeds, okay? Let's say one of your dogs that is not an American Pit Bull Terrier attacks somebody or attacks another dogs and kills it. Someone blames it, oh, that's a Pit Bull, and then boom, there you go. Adds on to the reputation that these dogs already have and which we're trying to reverse and trying to break through those stereotypes. Before we get started, I just want to say that our Black Friday sale is live to the public. We have some of our biggest sales of the year. We have a lot of our popular products for a deep discount. Click on the link in the description below so you can go check out some of those deals. Number one, the American Bulldog. Generally white or predominantly white with patches of color, these big friendly dogs can weigh up to 100 pounds and over. The American Bulldog is a wonderful family pet, equally at home working on a farm or relaxing, and it's crucial he gets enough exercise and is properly socialized. Number 2. The Presa Canario the Presa Canario is a very large Mastiff type dog. He can reach 150 pounds and he is very powerful. He is a working dog used for herding cattle and guarding. He is only a good choice for very experienced owners who can handle his size and attitude. The Pitbull in contrast is much smaller and has a much friendlier, more family oriented temperament. Number 3. The Candy Corso the Candy Corso is another very large breed. The Candy Corso weighs from 70 to 100 pounds and more. His history is a guard dog and working dog. The Candy Corso is not a fighter and is not generally known to be aggressive toward other dogs, but is a good guard dog in nature and is not recommended for anybody that is not experienced with handling these dogs because of its great size. Number 4. The Bull Terrier the Bull Terrier is often mistaken for the American Pit Bull Terrier, which is shocking to me, but the Bull Terrier is smaller in size than others, but don't let that fool you. He is stocky and muscular, with erect ears and a pleasant demeanor. As a terrier, he is a highly developed prey drive and has been known to kill smaller animals if they challenge him or they harass him. Number 5. The Boxer the Boxer is one of the most popular breeds in the United States. It is a working dog and a hunter and as well as an excellent guard dog. They're tall and proud and they can weigh up to 80 pounds and is often recognized by the fawn colored coat. However, it could be white, brindle, or multicolored. The Boxer and Pitbull have some temperament similarities and they could both be stubborn, high energy, and excellent with children. But the Pitbull is smaller and does not possess the Boxer's distinctive shape. Number 6. The Doggo Argentino a super athlete bred for hunting wild boar, killing mountain lions, and protecting their human to death. The doggo is a fierce hunter and a brave guardian, excellent for use in military and police settings. It's a large, heavy, muscular dog that is white and colored, weighing close to 100 pounds. Number 7. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier Besides the Bull Terrier, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is probably the most similar to the American Pit Bull Terrier of all the breeds listed here. Although he is still distinguishable from the pit bull, staffies are mistaken for pit bulls frequently with many people believing the two breeds are the same. This is because up to the certain point in history, the American Pit Bull Terrier, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and the American Staffordshire Terrier were all the same dog breed at once. They no longer are, however, they are now three very extinct and separate breeds. Number 8. The Bull Mastiff a very large dog, the Bull Mastiff is an excellent guardian dog and watchdog. He is a breed that needs no training and protection. He will react on instinct and help protect its owner at any cost. This is a very large dog that can weigh up to 100 pounds and more. The Bull Mastiff is often confused for other breeds including the Pit Bull. The Pit Bull is much smaller than the Bull Mastiff, possessing a very different temperament and physical characteristics. Number 9. The Old English Bulldog a fairly new breed, the Old English Bulldog, is a throwback. This breed is an attempt to recreate the Old Bulldog of the 1800s, which is very different from the modern Bulldogs that we see today. This breed was created in the 1970s with foundation dogs that were English Bulldog and Bull Mastiff, American Pit Bull Terrier, and American Bulldogs.
The old English bulldog is tenacious. It's eager to work and it's far less aggressive than the bull baiter from the 1800s. A lot of people are not sure what their dog is, so it's very important. Maybe you get a DNA test for your dog and uh, you find out the roots of your dog. One of the ways you can really know what your dog is is by having the pedigree and the papers of your dog and having the family tree and having the full background of your dog that will really help you distinguish if your dog is a real pit bull or not. So if you like this video, hit that like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you found some value in this. And check out our biggest sale of the year. There will be a link in the description where you can go and check that out. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. I am out.